and flooded again for the second time within the past month and Overland Park Synagogue has been flooded. KCTV 5 Stephanie Kayser joins us live from the Shabbat House Center of Kansas City with a look at the damage that they have received. The water in that building was so high, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was 20 inches high. Now we're now in what would be the preschool room and everywhere you look really you can see damage. I want to show you this slide. It still has mud on it. There's mud on the floor, mud on books. Now I'm joined here by Rabbi Weinberg. Talk to me. You have to now push back the preschool here. So what are your plans and just what is it going to take to clean up this mess? Well, we basically had brought in everything. I mean, we were almost ready for it to start preschool, so all yeah. our preschool spots were here. Not everything was here yet. We had obviously had ordered some new things, and mm -hmm. uh, that some of it had arrived, some of it hadn't. But lots of our new equipment, I mean, and whatever was here is now destroyed. I mean, all our preschool books, puzzles, um, you know, houses, you know, kitchen sets and all that kind of stuff. So we're pretty much starting again from scratch. I mean, and this is really... Whatever we had salvaged from the last time mm -hmm. is what we had brought in and is now finally totaled. So the good news is we're going to have a totally brand new preschool. <laughs> Bad news is we got to put it together. <laughs> Always have the silver lining. We do appreciate that. Um, now, they do have professional fans in here blowing, trying to get the water out of here. Professional cleaners will be in here later, and then they're going to be looking for volunteers. We'll continue to give you another live look here in about 15 minutes. But for now, we're live in Overland Park. Stephanie Kayser, KCTV 5 News. Okay, Stephanie, thank you. Yeah, they're going to need a lot of help with that yeah. cleaning.